Hello guys, good morning. I am so excited to spend the next few days together after a very busy week. It is now 8.30 in the morning and I have just had the best morning so far. I am so excited to film my new morning routine and share it with you because I've signed up to a gym and it's really nearby and I love it and it's 8.30 and I just want to have the best day today and a very cosy day. So we're going to start our day with baking. I'm going to bake some banana bread. I've got a load of bananas that are on the turn and there's only one thing for it when that happens. So I'm going to make some banana bread and I don't know why, but baking first thing in the morning feels a little bit like the same thing as like having a bath first thing in the morning. It just feels like, I don't know, kind of wrong, but kind of in a like really luxurious way. I love it. Anyway, so that's what we're going to start with. And then later on this afternoon, I'm actually going to get my hair dyed for the very first time. So I'm going to get my hair cut and I'm doing like a full cut and colour situation, which is a first for me. And I'm really excited. I've honestly tried to avoid getting my hair coloured for so long because it's so expensive. But probably about two years ago when I was like 27, maybe 26, like 27-ish, I started getting greys, like grey hairs through, but it was kind of just like the odd one. And now my greys are getting a little bit overexcited. So instead of embracing the greys, I mean, I'm fairly chill about them, but instead of fully embracing the greys, I'm gonna go and get my hair coloured and just like get a few highlights, I think, so that they kind of just meld into the rest of my head in a little bit more of a chill way. And I'm really excited. So we're gonna do that a little bit later. Also, while we're on the subject of like beauty topics, this is your reminder to not pick your skin. I don't know, like sometimes this camera is like really good at making my skin look way better than it is, but last night, I picked my skin both here and here and now give scabbed and it's sore and uncomfortable and I should have just left it alone. So that is your sign to leave your skin alone if you're currently in the process of thinking about picking it. Anyway, oh, one more thing. <laughs> On the topic of things that are like not great, I had a bath. You know how much I love a bath. You saw my evening routine, love a bath and something in the piping didn't work. And last night, when we came downstairs to make our mint tea before bed, after I'd had a bath, the water had poured into the ceiling. So we found our first thing about the house that like fundamentally doesn't work. When I say like through the ceiling, let me see if I can show you the cracks that has now been created in the ceiling. Let me see if it will show you. Yeah, you see that? Oh, I don't know why my camera's like, not picking up very well. There's like big cracks in the ceiling. It was like pouring down like through the light sockets. This whole thing was like absolutely covered in water. We've now got towels hung up everywhere. Because when I say we went through so many towels, it was like, it was like full of water. I can't express how much water came through the kitchen. So yeah, I'm not gonna be turning the lights on in here today. We're just gonna leave them off. We have underfloor heating in here. So we've got the underfloor heating on so that hopefully that helps dry everything because I think one of the worst things that can happen is when, if like the water gets under, like behind the skirting boards, which to be honest, it definitely did, it can make the wood swell. And like this kitchen is so beautiful and I really don't want it to do that. So yeah, slightly disappointed the new owners didn't let us know that because they must have known that the bath, like the piping just fundamentally doesn't work. Anyway. If you watch my evening routine, you can go back and look at it and laugh and think, look how nice and relaxed she is enjoying her bath because she's gonna come downstairs in a minute and find that her entire kitchen is flooded. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we need to sort that out. Right, time to bake. And then I am also gonna do, when I go out to get my hair cut today, I'm gonna do a bit of a shop for some new homeware bits. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna sit down and show you all of my new in slash things that I love to get every year for like this cozier winter season. I didn't manage to do a proper autumn haul, but this is gonna be a bit of a winter one, slightly early I know, but we know that all the best bits set out and I wanna show you all of my cozy autumn winter favorites for homeware so that you can grab it before it all flies off the shelves. Anyway, time to bake some yummy banana bread.
here she is. She's ready to go in. I think, to be honest, she's too full and she's probably gonna puff up quite a lot, but she's cute. I didn't have any like Biscoff or Dolce de Leche, which I would have preferred to put on top, but Cameron had the inspired idea to put almond butter on. So we've got almond butter and banana on top and we're so excited. So now she goes straight in the oven for 40 minutes. So she bakes for a while, but I'm so excited. So, we've had a disaster. I don't know how I didn't notice. <laughs> Somehow, when I like put it in, I must have like accidentally knocked it and it like tipped like onto its side. And look, you can tell like it would have been beautiful, but one half of that banana just like slipped straight off like into the bottom of the oven. So we now have banana bread that <laughs> has had a bit of an accident and has all kind of like dripped over the side. I mean, you can see here, she would have been perfection. I'm sure she'll taste just the same, right? Let's get her out of here, let her cool for 10 minutes and then we will give her a try. Oh, poor thing. Okay, here we go. Let's get her out on the back. I honestly think, <laughs> and I know I'm applying a lot of positive thought here, but I honestly think she would have been perfect. I've honestly never done that in my whole baking life. Look how sad that is. We just spin her around. We look at her from this way. She looks all right. Mm, to be fair, I just tasted it. It was pretty delicious. Yum. Okay, I don't mind that she fell over because honestly, that is the best banana bread I've ever made. I will link the recipe in the description because that is so good. It's a greedy model recipe. Mm, mm, mm. That is defined. Right. I need to take camera in a piece right now. Yum. This is your sign that no matter how overplayed banana bread sometimes feels, it's always delicious. Yeah, it's really good. I'm happy with it. Okay. So we are now going to see mum for lunch, which I am so excited about. We're meeting kind of somewhere in between the two of us. So we're gonna meet in Richmond. So we're gonna to go to Richmond, which is just always so lovely to go to, have some lunch, do a bit of shopping, and then I'm gonna get my hair done. So get a good look at the before. It's a bit greasy today, which is why I've kind of got it scraped back a bit, but yeah, I am honestly so excited to get my hair done and a little bit nervous. Like it's a lot of money, isn't it? But. Yeah, anyway, let's go have some lovely lunch and I will see you when we get to Richmond. I know to you it probably looks exactly the same, but I absolutely love it. Obviously it's much shorter, which I really like. And they've just done such a good job. He did such an amazing job of keeping it like supernatural. I was really scared of coming out looking really stripy. But yeah, they, he basically just like took tones from my natural hair color and then put them through the rest of it and covered up all my greys. So I'm very happy with my hair. As you saw, the home shopping fully didn't happen. Um, Mum and I just 
we hadn't had lunch in ages, so we ended up just sitting, having lunch forever. So we're trying again today. So I'm meeting up with my mum. We're not going to Richmond this time. There just, there wasn't really anything there. Like, I don't know, I feel sad for anyone that kind of lives in London or knows the area. I just feel like Richmond High Street's dying a little bit. It will come back, like it's such a gorgeous part of London, but I just feel like all the lovely shops that used to be there are slowly dying away and they're just being like replaced by like kind of tat shops. I don't really know what the word for them is, but like, anyway. So we're gonna try somewhere else and do a bit of shopping because also I have woken up this morning feeling so festive. I haven't actually played Michael Bublé yet because I feel like, I don't know. For me, today is the 7th of December and like all over Instagram is already like fully, and YouTube is just fully like, Merry Christmas. It has begun and I don't know, I just feel like it is getting earlier and earlier every year. My birth, my brother's birthday is the 22nd of November and we always would, we would never have Christmas. We would never feel Christmassy before his birthday ever. And now I'm like, oh, I'm feeling like the spirit is coming to me. So maybe I'll play a bit of buble in the car on the way to the shops or maybe I'll wait, but I think there's no two ways about it. No matter what, how much I try and resist, I think we will be buying Christmas decor today in the shops. So you never really want to take a bulky coat with you when you go shopping, do you? Because when you're in like a, I think we're going to be in like a shopping, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a shopping mall, um, a shopping center. So you get really hot when you're inside, but then when you go outside, pop to other shops you're cold, so maybe this will do. I think I might be a bit chilly because I don't have long sleeves on onto this, but never mind. So we're gonna head out, we're gonna do some shopping, we're gonna maybe get some Christmas bits, and then I'm gonna come home and show you like the full haul of all of my favorite cozy home decor and clothes and all of just my winter slash Christmas essentials, and I am so excited. Okay, let's get out the door.
Okay, we are back from shopping. That was honestly like such a nice day. I feel like I was genuinely out for hours. I met mum at 10.30 and it's now about full. So <laughs> it's been a full day and the light is about to vanish on me, but I'm gonna show you everything I got, plus some of my cozy Christmassy stuff that I've got down from the big storage cupboard upstairs. I have just made myself a rooibos tea to fuel me. I know I'm very biased because I'm dating a South African, but if you haven't tried rooibos or redbush tea, I love it. It's caffeine free and I just, I don't know, I love the taste. The red bush only grows in Cape Town in the whole world. Fun fact. Anyway, so love rooibos. I've got myself a big mug of that and I'm gonna show you everything. Okay, so I basically got down like all my stuff from upstairs and then the stuff that I bought as well, I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna organize it all and we can go through it. But first of all, like I'm so excited to open my Christmas box. I like to have most of my Christmas stuff. This is probably <laughs> a bit weird, but I really like to seal my Christmas stuff in like boxes, not only because it makes them really convenient for storage, but also because it means that like, when you crack them open, you get that like first smell of like all the Christmas smells, like all my Christmas candles that I didn't get through last year also in here. Anyway, so I'm gonna open it now. Something's gonna be an anti-climax. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's because I know that I've got like my Christmassy candles and then I've got all of my, I keep like a potpourri type thing that's got like oranges and cinnamon sticks and all that stuff is all in here. So I cannot tell you. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're feeling festive. Okay, I'm gonna get all of this out of the box and out of the bags so I can take you through the stuff in a slightly more civilized way rather than some just like, festive, frenzied, crazy person. Whilst I organize it, I'm gonna stick on some Michael Bublé. I think it's time for the first song of the season. So, oh, this is your sign that it's time, it's time, it's time. Also, if you want to wait until December, I really respect that decision as well, but here we go. Right, Michael Bublé, Christmas. Here he is, Christmas Deluxe Special Edition. I can't play this because I'll get copyrighted, but maybe just the first couple of notes. Okay, that's all I'll give you. See you in a second. fast I was enjoying that so much I didn't really get a chance to have any of my tea right okay so I think I'm gonna start with like clothesy bits and then we're gonna move on to home stuff so clothing items that I think are just like cozy winter essentials and a few bits that I am loving I think first of all the thing I just want to say before we dive straight in is you don't need to buy new stuff I think it's fun to get a couple of things to top up that Christmassy feel, but you really don't need new things. And before I went out shopping, I took stock of the stuff I already had to remind myself, I don't actually need to go and buy a lot of new things. I already have lots of lovely stuff at home. So some of this stuff you may have already seen because I may have shown you before, but it's a reminder for some of my favorite things. So first up, a couple of really cozy, comfortable jumpers are an absolute essential over the winter Christmas period. You've probably seen this on me now in about 100 videos. I can't stop wearing it. It's so comfortable. I will link it below. One thing you will always know about me when I recommend jumpers, I have really sensitive skin to like itchy fabrics. So even cashmere sometimes bothers me. So if I'm recommending a jumper, you know it's not itchy. Pretty much I can be 
almost certain it's not gonna be itchy for you because my skin's super sensitive. So this one, I absolutely love. It's so big and cozy and it's got this massive collar that you can just hide away from when the temperatures get colder. And then another one, which I bought today, which is dangerously similar, I know, but Christmassy or wintery, I think, because it's not like all out Christmas. I think I can wear this all through November. I think I can wear it all through January and February. And it is this, which I think is so cute. So it's basically a very similar vibe to the one I'm wearing, but it's got big snowflakes on it. And I just think it's so nice. The fabric is gorgeous. It is almost 100% organic cotton. It's like 83% organic cotton, and then it's 16% nylon. It's from the white company. Again, I'll link it. it. Fits really nicely. I tried it on in the shop today. Really recommend. So get yourself a couple of like go-to staple, really comfy, cozy jumpers that you know you can wear year on year and that you will love. Next is my snuggly dressing gown, which again, I think I definitely have well, I've worn it in a few of my vlogs since I've been in the house. I actually got it for my birthday this year and I love it so much. It's so soft, I can't even tell you. It's like a giant cuddly teddy bear has their arms wrapped around you the whole time when you wear this thing. It's also the white company, I will link it. And then to go with that, I also was given these slippers for my birthday this year. Again, these are like just so soft i think in the winter it is all about just having really cozy snuggly fabrics if you're in somewhere with colder climate which we definitely are here and these ones I absolutely love i've been wearing them so often since my birthday i kind of actually saved them for the new house so it's been a bit long since my birthday but a nice snuggly pair of slippers and then the last thing that i wanted to show you they haven't arrived yet so i can't show you in person but the Natco have just launched their Christmas collection and I have to show you before it arrives because this stuff sells out and I love the Natco pyjamas. I love their like rayon fabric pyjamas. They're so insanely soft and so stretchy and comfortable. So when you like move when you sleep, they kind of go with you. But I thought I'd treat myself to a new pair of very Christmassy pyjamas and I have ordered this satin candy stripe pair and I, they probably don't look much in a picture, but I think they look absolutely heavenly. They've just launched. Again, I will also link them. They haven't arrived, but I have very high hopes. And if you want a pair of just like satiny, candy stripe, luxury feeling pajamas, I think these are gonna be the ones. So I'll also link those. Okay, moving on to home stuff, which is obviously the bits that I'm really excited about because it means I get to decorate this place for the very first time for Christmas. Okay, so let's start with scents. I think scent and smell is such a crazy powerful way to set an atmosphere in your home. And to be fair, the white company scents are pretty much dictating my life at this point and I lock them away in the months where we're not in that season. You know how much I love to live seasonally. I think it's such a powerful way to chunk up the year into three month segments. I think it helps you really love where your life is whilst you're in it and not thinking too far ahead or rushing ahead, wishing the next season was coming around because you know you've only got three months of that season before it's gone. So I have very cheekily lit the winter candle. It's the only one that's allowed out early so for example, the autumn candle, I will not light in August, but I will light the winter one in November and I've just lit it. But the White Company winter scent, I've got one of the candles that's lit. Let's see if I can show you without it going out in like the smaller size. And then this is the large size, which has multiple wicks. It is truly the most Christmassy smell in the world. It's so lovely. It's not too synthetic. I don't really like those really aggressive synthetic. Christmassy smells. And I just think it's stunning, it's gorgeous. I can't recommend it enough. If you don't already know, get to know the White Company winter scent is just divine. Having said that, a scent that I do really like, which is quite synthetic-y, or about as synthetic -y as I'm willing to go, is the Zara Home gingerbread scent. I really, really like it. Zara homes seem to be kind of collapsing around us at the moment. I'm not sure if they're okay. They don't seem to be okay. All the ones near me have closed. I was desperate to go in there and get some more of this stuff for this year today. And I was in a pretty good shopping area. And anyway, 
all the Zara homes seem to be closing down, but their gingerbread scent that comes in this like dark red bottle, I think is so lovely. And I happen to have some left from last year. So I always make sure I keep the stoppers of my Christmas reed diffuser so that I can stopper them back up, put them in the cupboard and then get them back out the following year. So there's nothing wasted. So this guy has come back out. I mean, there's only about this much left of the liquid. So it might not last too long, but really recommend that scent as well. Okay, now that we've done scents, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite like home bits that some of which I bought today and then some of which I've got out from the Christmas box. So the first thing is reeds. I just think, I was about to say you can't have too many. You definitely can have too many, but I get very carried away with buying like little reeds that I can just put up all over the place. I think they look cute literally everywhere. They're either cute if you hang them up places or often I like sit them flat and they become like holders for candles in the middle to kind of kind of frame the candle. And I think that's really pretty. So I've got these ones, which I shouldn't have used these as the demo because they're jingling, but Merry Christmas. I've got those and then I honestly have a whole selection of little wreaths and something that I also do every year is make my own wreath for the front door so I'll be doing that again this year and I'll definitely bring you along for that. But I've got this gorgeous big sparkly one which I do often use as like a big centerpiece one in the middle of the table and then have candles or whatever it might be coming out from the middle of that. I think having like a big gorgeous one for a centerpiece on a table is really nice and then I've also got a little felt heart one, which feels quite vintage and cute, I think. And then I've got another one that's bells, but this one is red instead of cold. So those are all of the little wreaths that I've got at the moment. And to be honest, I'll probably keep adding to them. I have no shame in my wreath game. Okay, the next Christmassy thing that I probably have far too many of, and this is actually where I've broken my own rule of, I went out today and bought more, even though I did already have many at home, is little Christmas trees. So, the ones I already had, I'll show you first. I've got like this big fir tree, this snow covered fir tree, and this little sparkly one, which this one I believe lights up, which might not be able to tell very, yeah, you can't tell at all, but, but she does light up and she's really, really pretty because it's a really soft glow she gives off. Fur lined one and a snowy white one. And then I also have these kind of pinky, I don't know if they're rose gold, not really, kind of bronze ones as well, which this one also lights up. I love this one. This is from Abigail Ahern, I'll link this. It is stunning and I think it goes so nicely with these other ones. I've got another little fuzzy one. I always really try and do with home stuff, especially Christmassy bits, it's like mixed texture. I always think it's really nice to mix up texture as much as possible. And then today while I was out, I got this little sage green one with kind of like a gold sparkly rim and it sits on a little cute plank of wood. And I just thought, I thought he was really sweet and a bit different to the other little trees that I've got. And again, quite like almost Scandi Nordic kind of vibes being made out of wood the way it is. I just think, I just think it's really pretty. So got him. And then I also got this one as well, which also lights up. It's got like strings of fairy lights inside, but I haven't put the batteries in yet. So once I do that, you'll see it in future vlogs when it's all lit up. This is like a dark foresty green color, which I thought was also really pretty. I also have a little toadstool. Mushrooms were huge last year, if I remember correctly, like mushrooms were a massive thing. And to be honest, I've seen quite a lot around this year as well. These ones are red. I would love to get some like dark brown mushroomy things. So maybe I'll get some of that once I'm doing all my festive, like Christmas market shopping later. And then speaking of little fur lined trees, my mum actually bought me while we were out together today, which was so nice of her. Um, a candle that has a snow globe on top. So like when the candle is lit, you can like sit the snow globe next to the candle and you can obviously shake it. And it's got, um, it's got all like the snow in there that shakes. And it's got a little gold E and some little snow covered fir trees in there. And the candle also smells absolutely gorgeous. What um, Fresh balsam and cedar wood days be merry and bright. Oh, so lovely. So yeah, my mum bought me that and I just thought it's so cute and so pretty. So I'm definitely gonna stick this somewhere pride of place. I don't know quite where yet. And then another thing that I love to have scattered around as part of my Christmas home decor 
but I think it's such like an easy way to add a bit of Christmassy sparkle is sparkly branches. So this one, these branches are actually covered in glitter and I have to be honest, these are also from the White Company. These do shed, there's no two ways about it. You will be glittery. Not like awful, awful shedding, but they do shed. So these ones are covered in glitter and this year, because I've only literally got this one sad lonely branch which I usually stick in with other foliage to kind of add a bit of sparkle but I just bought myself and treated myself to in the shops some light up LED branches which I'm going to pair with the sparkly branches in a big vase somewhere and I think that will be such a lovely kind of like main focal plant point that's like not the tree that's kind of like a big branchy plant somewhere else that's all twinkly lighty and yeah so i got myself some of those branches i'll link literally all of this so you can grab it too if you want to before anything sells out and then literally the last few things that i bought were some christmas tree decoration additions which makes me so happy the first one is this snowflake which i think is so pretty again i don't know what the fabric is i think it's wool yeah, so it's a, it's wool woven snowflake. And I just think it's really, really pretty and gorgeous and lovely. And I really like to have quite a, I think my Christmas vibe, which you can probably tell from all of this, is just a bit all over the shop in what I think is the best way. I think Christmas, you can absolutely make it chic if you want to, and if that's your thing. And I definitely want my home to look nice, but I'm kind of all for like embracing a bit of the cheesy and a bit of like the more homey traditional stuff and when it comes to tree decorations Cameron and I really try and I mean we've not been dating for that long but we kind of decided last year that every year we were going to buy one new Christmas tree decoration together like whilst we were out at Christmas market or something and add it to the tree as like a memory every year and get like a special one which we could spend like a bit more money on if we wanted to so we could kind of have yeah, a new one each year that kind of had a proper memory attached to how we got it together. And I love that idea. We're definitely gonna do that again this year, but I just thought I'd get a couple of extras. But yeah, I have like literally a couple of boxes of multiple packs, but otherwise I like all my tree decorations to be a bit more individual and scattered just because maybe my brain's a bit scatty, I don't know, but that's my preference. Anyway, so I've got this one. And then I also got, which I just think they're so cute, these two little reindeers with the little jumpers and the little scarves on. I got the one in a pink jumper and a pink scarf for me because I love pink. And I got a little green one for Cameron because South Africa national colors are green. So I just thought they are very cute and they're gonna sit on the tree together. Gosh, I know I'm so cheesy, but I literally thought they were so adorable. So we've got little felt reindeers to go on the tree. And honestly, that is the last of everything I got and everything I've got out for now. I do have a few more bits of Christmas decorations, but I am not gonna go full ham. I'm gonna decorate some of this stuff now tonight. But apart from that, I'm gonna decorate properly for Christmas more slowly. And I'll probably do a separate vlog that's like full on decoration for Christmas. And definitely, I'm gonna give it another couple of weeks before we get the tree. I just really wanna make sure that because we do get a real one on Christmas day, ours is still lovely. And if I get it too early, I'll get a bit sad. A couple of years ago, I got it in like the middle of November and by Christmas day, like they were all like crumbling off, even though I was watering it so much. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed spending the last couple of days with me. I have had the best time and I'm feeling so festive, which is so fun. It kind of hit me like a bit of a steam train because the first of November came around and I was like, no, I'm not feeling it at all. I'm going to take my time this year. And then you give it a few days and all of a sudden <laughs> I'm full Christmas. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. As I said, I will link absolutely everything in the description. I hope you have the loveliest week and I truly cannot wait to see you in the next one.